I'm going to do two videos showing you how to do three-dimensional text or 3D text. So I'm going to create a new, uh, I'm going to choose, again, you can create this by the size that you want for it. I'm going to choose the simpler way to do the text first. So I'm just going to come up here. Uh, I'm going to grab the text type I want, the size that I want, and I'm just going to type the word that I'd like. Uh, I'm actually going to make this a little bit larger for this demonstration. So I simply have the word hello. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my perspective tool. I'm going to click on my hello. And again, this is all about getting the desired effect that you want for your specific uh, three-dimensional text. So I can come down here and then I can click on transform. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to hide that new duplication. I'm going to go back to my original. I'm going to come to my filters. I'm going to come to my mapping. I'm going to go to a bump map. I'm going to change uh, everything to about, I'm going to do 130 here, roughly, uh, 36 for my elevation, two for my depth and then everything else coming down to zero. Again, you can play with these uh, factors, but you do want to compensate for uh, darkening. So I applied that uh, bump map to my uh, text here now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my original layer as much as needed. So I'm just going to do, I think, probably five duplications here. I'm going to come to my layer and I'm going to come to my move tool. And what I want to do is I'm creating this effect by slightly moving each of my layers. So I don't want to do too much. I'm going to grab each of my layers and I'm just going to slightly move it down below the next one. Now, what I find to be helpful sometimes on this is for you to hide the other layers as you move them. Now, obviously, the more times I would do this, the more of a three-dimensional effect I would get. I can show that original layer now. Now this is one way to do it, and I could literally stack 10, 12 uh, different layers and get the effect that I want. You can see here I moved my L, or moved it a little too much because I have this little flaring out on the L's and the E's. But what I'm going to show you is I'm going to hide that layer, and I'm going to go back to my original layer. And what I can do is I can grab my bucket fill. I can change my color. I'm just going to change it to green. And I don't want to be operating on that level. And I can color each of my uh, letters now. So I'm going to go up to the next layer, and I'm going to show it, and I'm going to color that layer. And what this is going to do, it's going to create a shadowing effect. So it'll make it a little bit easier to see the three-dimensional text. Again, this is the easier of the two processes I'm going to show. Uh, again, it all really depends on the type of shadow or text that you like. And now I can show my layers. Oh. And I want to color this layer still. There we go. And I can show my layers, and I can get that shadowing effect that I have. Now, if I was doing this, I'd probably have brought the L a little bit more to the right, or brought the layers a little bit to the right to get a little bit of the perspective from this one as well. But again, you could export this as a PNG and bring it into your other projects then. Uh, tune in for video two on creating 3D text next.